Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm recreating Winnie's hairstyles from Tuck Everlasting. I decided to do all the styles when she's in the forest and they kind of get messy and worn in because a lot of you guys said you loved the messy maiden hairstyle I did from the live action Cinderella movie and I wanted to do something similar this summer because I love messy hair, especially when you have kind of princess vibes in there. So give this video a thumbs up if you like my series of hair tutorials and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss an upload. And can we all have a moment of appreciation? What is this guy's name? Jonathan Jackson, who plays Jesse Tuck. Hottest, oh my God, he is beautiful. Like what a beautiful man. And I'm not going over the makeup in this video. I'm pretty much wearing none, but um, I am wearing this gorgeous lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury called Karina Star and it's new. So I will have this link down below as well as this dress, which is from Adored Vintage. It was pretty pricey. I got it like two years ago and just haven't filmed this video. So it's been a long time coming and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you like the little set I put together for this video and the first hairstyle is the most classic and the style Winnie wears most of the time up until she runs away. Here's my natural hair and I'm going to be clipping in two three clip wefts of hair extensions. These are the same length as my own hair but they're going to add that amount of bulk that I need to really get these styles right. And these are my favorite by Roger Medina. They're the ones that I wear um, that match my hair the best and I will have them linked down below. Then for the part, we want it slightly off to the side and then reaching towards the back, comb backwards so you don't have a part and if your hair is a little tricky, tease lightly and add some hairspray to keep in place. Next, take a section from the side with more hair and I like to curl with a tiny curling iron. This is optional but helps the twist stay put. Lightly twist and then add a couple of sections above the ear into the twist. While you're holding on to this small twist we've created, take the rest of the hair and twist over it. Hold in place with a big clip attached to your top while you do the other side. Similar idea but with less hair, this time the twist will be sitting up higher, so just curl, twist, and pin creating a rounded poof along the hairline. With half of the hair remaining, twist back. And now we have three sections, two twists and one at the back to create a basic braid width. Unclip the twist, you might need to retwist um, while you have these three strands now, and then just braid. And because I'm going for Winnie's more exploring in the woods type of look, I'm going to loosen up the front sections and take out some face framing pieces for curls. Adding some of my favorite hairspray, and by the way, this dress is backwards. I wear it the right way later on, but I just love this first simple braid. Winnie has a purpley bow. I'm using more of a rag texture that I found at Michael's. And now switching it up, wearing this super cute free people dress and I wanted to recreate Winnie's gorgeous curls when she's dancing in the forest with Jessie. I haven't used this wand in a while but it's perfect for the style. We are using the Numi Pearl wand. On the side of the part with less hair, we are curling towards the face. I almost always curl my hair without creating sections. I find this is easiest, especially with natural worn in looking curls. Start the curls so they begin to wave just under your ears and the way Winnie's hair is, around her jawline the curls are tighter and fuller and then through the bottom there is less curl through the bulk of the hair to keep the length but then undone ringlets um, at the very bottom. I'm curling the under section in bigger portions to get the looser curl and then I'm going back in and making sure the ends have the shape I want. Touch ups with my all time favorite hairspray, the OGX Fiber Full, look for the blue can, it's the best. And then moving on to the other side, curl away from the face. This way all the curls are going in the same direction around the hair. Also this side I noticed was a bit looser so I'm using bigger sections and again starting to wave right by the ear. And now dance away with these gorgeous curls. Super easy hairstyle and now we are prepped for the last very easy look as well. Back with my adored vintage dress the right way, not backwards this time. Run your fingers through each curl to loosen them up. 
You could also do this with second day curls. And then pick up two small front pieces. I noticed these pieces looked initially twisted but then undone and straight back into a braid. So twist once and then pull back and start to create a tiny little braid. Because this braid is so tiny, it will stay in place without an elastic, especially if you add hairspray to the end. You can leave the style like this. As we can see in the screen caps, it looks about right, but they definitely um, film this ending scene on different days because all of a sudden Winnie's hair is more curled. So here's another option. You can use the bubble wand again or even a smaller curler to bring back the tighter curls surrounding the face. Now we have a mix of curls and straight pieces and an earthy braid and still some ringlets at the bottom. Let me know in the poll which style was your favorite. Alexis Bledel as Winnie from Tuck Everlasting Hairstyles and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up as always and let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the movie which hairstyle was your favorite and I did pick out a scent for this video and I went with YSL's Mont Paris. This is one of my favorite perfumes. I've talked about it a bunch of times but I just got a new bottle that's super cute and plus they talk about going to see the Eiffel Tower quite a bit in the movie so I thought you know throw in a little Paris in there and everything will be linked down below so if you like this dress I have a couple similar ones that I found all of the hair products and everything and of course if you do try out this style or any of my other videos please tag me because I would love to feature you in my videos so here are a couple of my favorite pictures so thanks for sending those in and if you're looking for another video to watch or maybe a DIY project then check out my DIY room decor. It's all vintage and kind of whims whimsical inspired so if you like the vibes of this video you might like that one as well. I will have it linked in the eye and in the description bar and that's it for me so I will see you guys in my next tutorial.